and 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 the lady said she to old me i don't know which one is my favorite per se i think maybe i don't know i don't see the big deal do you, a loved one, or a client have disruptions in their speech? It could be a disfluency or it could be a stutter. A stutter is characterized by core behaviors. Repeating a sound several times before getting the word out, prolonging certain sounds within a word, usually vowels, or getting so stuck and blocked on a word. A stutter is actually a type of disfluency, except it is completely involuntary. And stutters are treated by using stuttering modification techniques in order to help change the way a person stutters. Someone who stutters may also present with secondary features, some increased tension, avoiding certain words or topics, body movements, and also interjections like uh or hmm. And disfluency is solely these secondary features and is treated by using fluency shaping techniques. But one of the most important things to remember when treating stuttering or disfluencies is that emotions play a huge role in treatment. Therapy can cause big emotions to come out that person often feels anxious feelings or intense feelings of anger or frustration because of their communication behaviors. If you're wondering if somebody qualifies for speech therapy services to target disfluencies or stuttering, take multiple language samples and tally up each syllable produced. Find the percentage of core behaviors or secondary features produced. If the percentage matches any of these, here are the severities of that disfluency or stutter. And if you have any additional questions, please reach out to me at Support the Spectrum on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram.